Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. I know that a lot of you guys are dealing with the blow-by animation. A lot. I know you're getting blown by, blasted by, whatever you want to call it. I know that it feels like you can't stay in front of anybody. I know that it feels like there's just nothing that you can do. If a slasher gets on you, if a, um, a guard gets on you, hell, it really doesn't matter who gets on you. You're getting the blow by animation. And I am here to tell you why that's happening. I can't tell you how to fix it because I just don't know. I really don't think that there is a way to fix it. But I can give you the why. And the why is this. Last year, I got the blow by animation all the time. A lot of people had never seen it before, and I was surprised when I saw it, but when I saw it, it was when I created my point guard. My point guard, I had a 6'4 six, a six, point guard, I maxed out strength. I had a 6'7 point guard, I maxed out strength. Now, when my strength was below a certain threshold, I noticed that uh, before I put strength on my point guards, I noticed that... Uh, that, that I would, I, you know, people, I would run into people. It would be just like a brick wall, you know, just, just like everybody else did last year. But when I put strength on him and I went by somebody that had a uh, lower strength than I had, he would get the ride animation and I would just ride him up court. And then sometimes I just go on by him and uh, go lay the basketball up or just go do whatever. But the thing is, last year, everybody's strength looked like this. That was it. I don't think anybody added anything to their strength last year other than me and if you say you did in the comments you lied because everybody on my channel told me that i was a doggone fool for adding strength to my guy said, you don't have to add max out you shouldn't have maxed out strength and rebounding you should have upped your three and you and you too like dude i didn't want to do that i made the guy the way that i wanted to make him and he ended up being you know, really strong. Be, I, I was able to get the fend off animation or the blow by animation. I call it, the, I call it the fend off or the hold them off animation or the ride animation. You know, when you drop your shoulder and you go on by. Them. I was able to get that animation. I was able to get the grab and toss and throw and bump animations and stuff like that. And a lot of people weren't able to get those. That's just that's why I was able to do it. I was able to get rebounds over everybody else over other guards. Other guards didn't stand a chance getting a rebound over me. So that's why I was able to do that. So if anybody in my comments tells me that they had the ride animation all the time last year and, and they was able to do it, you lied. Because everybody in my comments told me that I was a fool for doing it. But conversely, this year, everybody's strength looks like this. This guy right here is my center, 76 strength. I don't know what guards and all that are getting. Last year, I think I want. I, I'm not. Don't quote me on this because because I, I don't know what it was this year. I think last year was uh, the threshold for getting all those animations was like 50. If you had 50 strength, or it could it could have been if you had 50 strength, or if there was a certain disparity between the strength. I don't know which one of it, which one it was, but I know that I had like 50 strength last year on my point guard, and when I went up against smaller guards or guards that, that I know didn't have anything in strength, which most people didn't, I would just blow by them or I just drop my shoulder and they would try to ride me and I would just be able to hold them off until I got to the rim. And that's what I'm seeing a lot this year. This is why it's happening. Last year, people chose to put points in strength or you actually had to make a decision on how you wanted to build your character. This year, you don't get a choice. There is no choice. Everybody will eventually, if you play the game long enough, Every person of a similar art type or a, or a certain art type will have the exact same attributes. And that's something that I don't like about the game. I know, and I'll tell you why, because somebody would have made a stretch big and they wouldn't have put, I wouldn't have put anything in dunks. I would have just put some stuff in layups. I wouldn't have put anything in dunks. I would have lowered ball handling, ball handling passing probably. Nobody put anything in post offense last year, so we know we know we wouldn't have done anything with that. Um, I would have just, and I would have put everything else on my vertical, my strength, and all of that good stuff. So I would have created my character differently. This year, they held your hand so much that they're giving people things that they didn't even know were in the game, and they're holding your hand so much that that you're getting rewarded for just being a bum. I mean, I don't know any other way to say it. Like, I can't say you're a bum because you didn't put anything in strength last year, but what I'm saying is. There are secrets to the game that nobody knew other than really me, and they're giving them away for free now. It's crazy. Like, nobody knew about strength. Nobody nobody knew about the uh, 
the, the bumping, chucking, and grabbing and all that stuff. Nobody knew about that, and nobody knew that it was re related to strength because I would tell other people to try to do it, and they couldn't do it because they didn't have any strength. I could do it with my small forward last year. I maxed out my strength last year on him and on all my characters. So I could do those things, and I even put a video out there about it last year saying that you can only get these animations if you have a certain threshold of strength. So people weren't able to do the things that I would do. I'd say, just bump him, just chuck him, they'd be like, I can't do it. And then I realized that that, that, that was because, yo, hold on, somebody powering up right next to me. Woo, look at this young man hit 91 on stream, man. I mean, on the, in the video, man. Hey, 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 clap it up for this young man, man. I don't know who it is, but uh, he just hit, he just hit 91 on stream. But anyway, like I said, there's really no fix for it because the way that 2K designed this game, everything is spoon fed. So you get, you don't get a way to design your character. You don't get to choose, you know, you, there's no decision to be made. Last year you had to make a decision. Do I want more dunks and layups? Or do I want more, um, do I want more strength? Do I want more shoot off the dribble? Or do I want more rebounding? Like you had to make those choices. This year there's no choice to be made. That is why you got things like, sharpshooters feeling like they're overpowered because last year they didn't get to fill out every you know you didn't get to fill out everything last year your moving shot look at my moving shot is a 60 my moving shot three is a 60 my moving shot uh mid-range is a 55 i essentially have no chance to making that of making that but pure sharpshooters get a moving shot of like 99 but most most sharpshooters last year did not max out uh, shot off the dribble so they wouldn't have had that last year because they had to make a decision and because they blended so many categories and because and because they are uh, they they let you max out every single thing every single thing in every single category it's creating like i don't know if you're gonna call it parody but it's creating a situation where everybody has a carbon copy of the same player. And that's something that 2K was always saying, that they don't want everybody to have the same player. They want people to have different builds. But this year, I'm sorry to break it to you, but everybody has the same player. Because most people just got pure sharps, and they have the exact same attributes. It, there's no difference. But somebody like me... You know, I have a two-way. I have a two-way sharpshooter. I got two two-way sharpshooters, but I, I like defense, so that's why I put those things in there. And my attributes are gonna be the same as anybody that chooses them. Now, I'm talking about when we get to 99. Your attributes will be different on the way up, depending on what you do. Like I probably have more vertical than some people. I probably have like more lateral quickness than some people because those are the things that went up. And I'll probably end up having more strength than most people because that's the way that I play the game. But at the same time. Once we get to 99, if we get to 99, or once we get up in the, in the high 90s, everybody's gonna have the exact same bill. This is something that they said they didn't want it to happen, but hey, it happens. So great job, 2K. You have created parity by forcing us to only build characters one way. Like somebody was saying in the comments, why not just have inside, outside, um, balanced, and then that sets the caps, and then you build a character the way that you want to. I feel like this is a step backwards. I don't like to go backwards, man. I like to go forward. I like the I like the archetype system. I like the dual archetype system. But I just feel like this year they should have given us that freedom to put things the way that we wanted them to. I don't like the idea of someone. This is why we say the game is bomb friendly because I don't like the idea of someone who otherwise would have put nothing in strength getting the blow by animations because the game forced them to put something in strength. If they don't have the mental to say, "Well, hey, I've got a player, maybe I need some strength on this player," then they shouldn't be able to, you know, they shouldn't be rewarded, but this game actually rewards people just for playing the game. Like you get rewarded with full strength just for playing the game. And then you don't have, and like I said, you have to make no decisions here. You used to have to make a decision about what you wanted to upgrade. Now the only decision to be made on your upgrades is this. You see that 52,000 battles right there? That is the only thing holding you back from upgrading your character now. That's the only thing that will make you decide, do I want to upgrade this or upgrade that? that VC balance. Is that the way they wanted it? I don't know. But when I'm telling people that the game is bomb friendly, this is what I'm talking about. You had so many people that screwed up their bills or did things that you could spot immediately from the other side and it was favorable to you and you could choose those things and, 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 and make the matchup be your way that, that it was crazy last year. You used to be able to just 
hey, well, well, he must have maxed out his dunks and layups, so I know his shot off the dribble isn't that good. Or you could kind of, it was like a chess game. We could figure out what a person was good at or what a person was not good at last year easily. But this year, everybody of a certain bill can do everything in that bill because they max things out. I like the idea of a play of a person screwing up their player and not being able to, I mean, because they're a bad player. Like it, this, this all goes into the skill of the game. The choices that you would make here to me, to me, the choices that you would make right here determines how skilled you are at this game. And because this is taken out of the equation, to me, it's just, it, it, that's why the game seems so bum friendly. That's, I mean, at least that's one of the reasons. Oh, it's anonymous, man. It's anonymous and pulled up on me. Oh, that's, that's ATL Fredo, man. I, okay, so let's take ATL Fredo, for instance. Let's see. He's a fresh, he is a fresh off the, fresh out, uh, out of here, 61, right? I thought, I ain't no ATL Fredo from ATL. Okay, so check it out. He's had one attribute point, right? So the only reason that he has building his character up, he will have to make choices on what he wants. But he's a slashing playmaker, so we can we can assume that he's going to max out his ball handling and then layups and dunks first. I guarantee you that. And then he'll go with speed and speed vertical or speed lateral. Well, he's going to do lateral quickness, last speed, acceleration, and then all this stuff. The only thing holding young Fredo back from being great or being maxed out. It's his lack of VC. It's not his mental. It's not It's not what he would choose to put those uh, attributes in. It's none of that. The only thing that's holding him back is VC. Because even when you're not an 85, as you, as you play the game and progress and get the cap breakers and get more and more cap breakers, the game is literally designed like that because you want to see those cap breakers. You want to achieve those things. So they want you to buy the VC in order to do it. And like I said, it's nearly impossible to just play the game and get enough VC in a reasonable amount of time to see the finish line. So most people are going to buy VC or they're going to go to Andy up and think they nice and then lose VC. Or, you know, I mean, very few people are going to just grind this game out and grind it out and grind it out. But it is what it is, man. Like I said, this is why you're getting blown by. That's the reason. 2K is holding everybody's hand more than ever this year, these this these this is these are some of the reasons that I say the game is more bum friendly than anybody. Because how many people do you know that screwed up their build last year? Hey, and then they just either had to make another one, or they had to deal with the uh deal with the consequences. I know so many people that skipped skimped on defense last year and skimped on other things just so they could put up like uh like shot off dribbles and things that weren't even important or max out. The three-pointer that maxed out at like a 73. We should have left it at a 70. Like all those things, like I said, that's a skill to me. But a lot of people don't care about that. A lot of people don't believe that. But the reason you're getting blown by is because everybody has strength this year. And I don't know what point guard strength maxes out there. Now let me know if your strength is goes over 50 or not, man. I really believe that 50 is like the threshold for getting all those animations. I guess we need somebody that we, I think I'm gonna make a new character and we're gonna see if I can get those animations with low strength. And then we'll put that we'll put that to bed. But anyway, I'm about to get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't even know what strength they start you off with, but I'll make a new character tomorrow. And uh, we'll get somebody. If you wanted to help me test this theory out in my court, you let me know, man. But I know for a fact that I was getting these animations last year, and I saw nobody with the blow by animation or the hold them off animation last year. And I used to get it all the time with my six seven and my six four. Uh, playmaker anyway man hope you guys enjoyed the video i gotta get up out of here um you guys let me know if you noticed that last year if you actually put strength on your character where you're getting those animations too and i'm out of here till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ holla 360 out this mug and make sure you stay tuned because tomorrow morning we got a great video on how 2k may be using that same system that activision uses to uh to get people to buy VC. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, it's a conspiracy theory, but just rock with your boy, man. I've been bringing the good content lately. Rock with your boy, man. Peace.